Hello guys, we're back with some more Assassin's Creed Mirage. We're on episode 4 and you can see Bossom. I'll show you in a bit. And first we'll start with the wolf. I actually did 90 or 80% of it. And yeah, inventory, I'll show you my outfits. So Rustam outfit, why I like it. Enemies have 50% less noise while Bossom is moving. Same Rustam Sword, so attack deals plus 5% damage up to maximum of 50%, like this. In this dagger, parries deal plus 25 defense damage, so I, I do a lot of uh, parries, so I think this one is good. So about the outfit, you know who is it, Boston from Valhalla, I love this costume, and yeah, it looks good. I have the second one, Ezio from Revelation. Yep, looks pretty good. So you can get this from Ubisoft Connect if you have Ubisoft coins, I don't know what they call. And yeah. And from the skills, I think you should get Breakfall first. Bossom automatically performs a role when landing from dangerous heights. Alexis Pocket. Knife recovery, I mean it's additional. And yeah. And Kido's views reveals keys and highlights opportunities like just so I think for side missions or contracts or story I think this one is good. Pop fan, yeah. All right. No more talks. We'll go regroup with Ellie. The rebels are at a watermill on the northern outskirts. So what is it? Okay, I'm already here. So yeah, let's go. Boom! Shit! <coughs> Okay, see, is, uh, I didn't mean to show you this, but you can see, yeah, I didn't die. <laughs> but I guess it's fine, you know. I have to re record this. Let's do this. So, I've been playing it for several hours and. I got bored because I think it should go more further in story and tend to the freedom to your mental so to find hidden things. I think it's much better then, not now. I did it because I like it but I did it too fast. I mean, I'm already on episode 4 and I'm doing everything in the world. I didn't go in the wild. Yeah I did. So. I think here I found hidden one blade and here I found hidden one dagger it's pretty good but not that good because every fifth hit poisons the enemy and the dagger does what is the same thing but melee kills of poison enemies create a poison cloud that damages nearby enemies so I don't fight a lot you know like I always do parries or assassinate, so that's why I chose this and this. So yeah. And yeah, for more for more outfits, I can show you the hidden one. Focus chunks fills an additional five percent. So chunks are the slots for some things. I don't know. And yeah, Rustum, I think is good. Enemies hear 50% less noise. I think it's the best one. And yeah, this one is good. Yeah. Bossim regenerates 1% health every 2 seconds. So you can upgrade till 3%. It's, it's fine, you know. This is the old one. And this, yeah, reduces the impact of illegal actions. So you can, you know, kill anyone and just run. It's fine. But. It's not a must thing. I think this one is really good. The outfit doesn't feel like assassin, but yeah, it's you know assassin thing. So yeah, this one is good. Just hold my mind. Brother. Let's go. This looks like the place. 
Now where is Ali? It was through the might of Allah that our... All credit where it is due, for this man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. <clears throat> I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first write the end of it. Come. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about al Ghul, so that Basim may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. It looks like al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills, finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. <sighs> Mershi! <sighs> he tracked down one of al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? The search turned up nothing. But that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. Al Ghul will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is likely the Karawansarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. It is time, Basim. What is your plan? That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. And allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement. Basim? I am ready. Then walk with me. Come, Basim. within our reach, Basim. And like those before and those yet to come, al Ghul's death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue, for al Ghul is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to that very mission. And while al Ghul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that, and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Basim. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain. 
Beholden to your guidance, Master. Busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights under two. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, al -Ghul. For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. Stealing. I don't know about this. Two icons. This. I think this one is assassinate. This one. I don't know. We'll see. Come. The stage is yours, Basim. I will be. I need your eyes, my friend. Caused ruckus and alarm. Discipline. And when the opportunity presents itself, seize it. What is the delay? I am off. What delays your departure, friend? 
Someone by the name of Mas'ud saw fit to inspect my wares. And so, here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of... Ready your camel. I will see what... If I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt departure may lure and hold out. We will be here until next sundown. and silks. There cannot be too many of those around. What? We were promised steady work and fruitful returns. Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please. You must help us. Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Mas'ud. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before Al Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce. <laughs> Cast your gaze, Kido. Just passing through. Mind me. Greetings, my friend. What sorts of goods are you traveling with? Ivory and honey. And you? Are you... Perhaps. For now... Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Could I interest you in some fruits and vegetables today? 
My pomegranates are ripe and succulent. Is that what you have come to trade? Let me think on it. A strange thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. Well met, traveler. The Karwan Sarai is rich with wares today. I was wondering if you had any goods to sell? I only deal in Durham. And what I sell are not goods, boy. Though I suppose that depends on who you ask. I am not sure I understand. I sell men, laborers. But my lot is spoken for. Could I change your mind? I have coin to spare, and could use men such as yours. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand? That is absurd. Who has the means to pay so much? It is better to keep that question to yourself. If I am going to free those laborers, I will have to steal the deed. If you'd like me to stop, then you should move along. If not, I will gladly raise my those two men are having a loud dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? Act as usual. Now to free those men. Do not make a scene. The deed. I can't No, 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 no! I have claimed the deed from your handler. You are bound no longer. Go! The laborers run amok. Al-Ghul will take notice. I must be ready to strike. Word will surely get to Al-Ghul. Come out and spectate, coward. Keep at it. So where is he gonna come?
dumb. Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be. But not just. Al-Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al-Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects. Like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alol, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. 
Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbiya Bureau when it is settled. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe. So he said, I wish I would never see you again. And now he wants to meet you. Peace, friend. What do you have? Let Useful for strengthening one's gear. You never know when these will come in handy.
Nothing but... Yes, I told you gonna slap. I am as sorry as you. I have so much to tell you. And I you. We will grant each other an audience. But first, I must know something. What? Why are you dressed like a peasant? Perhaps I have less to tell you than I thought. I think I can surmise what our time apart has been like for you. And you? You have not been living here, I hope. <laughs> Less living, more working. On what? Why do I know this? Because you have seen it. On the object we found at the Winter Palace. I have been trying to remember the specifics of its design. You have spent all this time obsessing over this symbol? Why? Because I too have seen it before. I know not where or when. Only that I have. Whatever it is, it calls to me. I intend to unravel its mystery, and so should you. Ah, but of course. Duty calls. Stop. I will bear it in mind if it means you will spend more time outside these musty walls than you do within. You really do spare a thought for everyone, don't you, Basim? Araki lahikan. The Order of the Ancients are far from defeated. Master Roshan is certain to have a plan brewing to uproot them. And perhaps I should look into Nihal's obsession. It so I can see them right now? I was trying to find this. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. I was trying to find them actually. Yeah. These mystery shots. Okay. You know what? I'll do the story. I'll do this later. It seems Nihal is trying to discover the location of a secret chamber. And once I find the mystery shot, when I'm going back, I'll include that in the story. So let's see. Uh, how do I? Let's
Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I am glad you are safe. Alhamdulillah. A first of many achievements to come, Basim. We should only hope. There's still much work to do. While our focus was on al Ghul, Fulav quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ebed and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to al Abbasia and Karh. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karh, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on. Then come find us. Have a look, Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. Actually, guys, I skipped it because I was trying to see the, you know, upgrades. And yeah, I didn't do any upgrades. So I skipped it so I don't waste your guys' time. So I killed the guy and uh, I unlocked tools and everything. So I think I should end the video right now. It's 46 minutes. Maybe 40 minutes because I skipped it. I don't know how much I will skip it when I edit. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.